today we are taking a look at the old fishing store. At this point it actually is pretty old going on 5 years now since it was released. And coming up there's going to be a lighthouse released in the ideas series so I think this is a perfect time to review this set. So let's get right into it. Heyo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Grandmaster Bricks, back with another video. Thanks for tuning back in, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe if you think I'm doing a great job. The way I'm going to do this review is I'm going to give you a little bit of the details and numbers, then I'm going to give you my opinions at the end of the video. So let's get right into it. Set number 21310, Old Fishing Store. It's rated for ages 12 and up, so I like to see that it's not an 18 and up set. Back in 2017, they really weren't doing 18 and up sets yet. This is a idea set under the sub-theme Miscellaneous. It was released on September 1st, 2017, and then retired on December 31st, 2018. So it really did not have a very long shelf life, about a year and three months. The set came with 2,049 pieces and retailed for $150, which broke down to about seven cents per piece, which is decent. But now, on the secondary market, you'll find this set sealed anywhere from about $350 to $400. The set came with four minifigures, all unique to the set. As well, it has a sticker sheet. The build had seven bags in total. The instruction booklet had 280 pages, and it had 313 steps. Part usage-wise, when it was first released in 2017, it had quite a few new pieces, some printed pieces, dual molded legs that are really expensive and exclusive to this set, as well as some introductions of some really cool animal figures like the seagull and the lobster. Now that we've given the set kind of the full rundown, now I'm going to give my opinions, the more review side of things, and boy, I really like this set. I actually got it used in the secondhand market. I took the time to sort it. I pre-bagged it like as if it was brand new and had the whole building experience. I really love this set. There's so much going on, so much detail packed into this tiny little footprint. It is on a 32 by 32 base plate, but they didn't quite utilize all of the base plate area. So there could be maybe some area for play and just different scenes going on. So the footprint of the actual old fishing store is a lot smaller than an actual base plate. The whole color scheme going with the sand green is really really cool it's like it's not as rare of a color nowadays but in 2017 this was a really hype color to have in an entire building like this now we've gotten buildings like the boutique hotel and stuff like that i can appreciate on sets when they have some printed elements and then some stickers and that's exactly what you find in this set right here Though it is a tight and compact build, it's cool that it is modular. It comes apart in a few different ways. When you're looking inside of the building itself, it's really dark, so it's hard to see. But if you're in adequate, proper lighting, so much detail everywhere you look, they were able to just cram this in. Not a lot of room to kind of get your hands in there and play or opposability. But the fact that you know it's there, it sparks my imagination and my interest. It's one of the reasons why I wanted to pick up on this set. Knowing the fact that the idea set, the lighthouse is coming, the motorized lighthouse, this is going to go fantastic next to the old fishing store. I'm going to figure out a way to incorporate them both into each other. As I'm building my Lego village, I know I'm going to add some type of dock. I've seen on Rebrickable that there is a dock that you can basically an extra base plate you put next to this and it extends out the dock kind of like a fishing boat pier dock. So I'm thinking that's going to be happening as well. Big fan of all of the idea sets, just the idea series in general. This is number 18. I think now we're pushing close to 40, so it's really cool to see how far they've come. And this is one of the earlier idea sets, so it's definitely an iconic set. In the aftermarket, it's gone just sky high. Like I was saying about the minifigure dual molded legs, the fisherman, he goes from anywhere from about 40 to $150, just depending on the day. So it's just one of those very exclusive, hard to get pieces that are very unique and rare. Overall, I think the aesthetics of this set really set it off very well. The color usage, just what it invokes, almost as if it's like an art piece. The, the ideas that you get when you're looking at this old fishing store, it's really cool. And I think it fits very unique. It's not, it's not your typical 
kind of Lego city, Lego village kind of building. So it, it has that unique zest to it. So I think that's one of the reasons that makes it so collectible. It's just an iconic set for so many reasons and I love it. So many little accessories and details, so much to take in, soak in, so much you could do with this set as far as placing it in a village or in a city. I had a great time building it. The techniques with the tiling on the side with the snot pieces, once snot techniques became popular, this was one of those sets that just really utilized it and made it known that this is a fantastic technique. Everything from the box art, to the building experience, to the minifigures, to the part usages and accessories, an amazing set. If you're looking to pick up this set for yourself, parting it out, wanting to acquire it, hopefully this video has helped you make some decisions, whether you're buying it for yourself or a friend. I aim to make these videos for collectors, mock builders, and resellers alike. I enjoy LEGO and the LEGO community as a whole, and I just like to be a part of it. Making these videos for you guys as well as for me, for educational purposes and entertainment. Hopefully this is hitting the mark for you guys. If you're enjoying my videos and you think I'm doing a great job, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. In life and in LEGO, remember, never stop building.